talking about camaradens. And welcome to part one of Chris Tales. Ooh. <clears throat> I have been waiting to play this game for a long while. I played the fucking um, demo when like it first came to Xbox. And that was like several months ago. And I was like, oh, this game is good. I love the fucking art, the music, the combat, like, there's, like, the demo, um, like, uh, yeah, at least, like, the demo, like, I had nothing bad to say about it. It was a genuine gale time, but I'm glad that it is finally here. Ooh. And, um, the, the prophecy rang true, as I said in the previous stream I did today that I would probably stream again and hence why I'm here I'm going to probably super enjoy this I'm gonna make sure the stream is titled properly yeah there we go nice let us begin Scene question mark? Possibly. Oh yeah, I forgot it's like that, um, they, they do that thing this where it's like, oh, fight, Chris at, at this point time in time. Use your new skills. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack, and then choose your target. Finally, right. just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think, like, the... Um, UI is also changed. I don't, I don't remember the bottom looking like that with HP, MP, and CP. Of course, it's been a while since I played the demo, so I might be wrong. Getting that second hit requires precise timing. Make sure you press the button again right as your attack hits the enemy. Okay. Oh yeah, that's not too good, bad. Crispell. Be cautious. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Nicely done. Nice. Now give it your all. Finish it off. I'll parry this, you casual. The skills do I have right now? None? Oh, I don't have any skills. Let's stop. Oh yeah, I forgot there would be like two-sided combat scenarios. Well done, Chris Bell, but I am afraid our work is not done here. Nice. At least from what I told from the demo, there's just like a bunch of characters named Chris. I, I hope that this game is just a bunch of fucking Chris puns. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Hey, Christopher. <laughs> Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. No, 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 no need to tell me. I can see at the bottom of the screen, my guy. Not bad. Hello, Christopher, by the way. Hello, Chris. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. I'm Chris.
That's two less of them. I've been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. Nice. Got to stop them before they reach town. They're levitating. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. Look, Volcano. They broke our poor goblins. How adorable. Can we... Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Until I stop murdering them. I know, I know. I just want to play. Not my fault they're all so squishy. <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. No more pets until you stop doing cock and ball order. Oh yeah, it's gonna it like work. tell me like, oh, I you should use a them. skill. Not even a scratch. Oh, I forgot to press A. We can't take much more of this. Chris Bell, it is time. Use the crystals. The crystals. This is gonna. I can't remember if it cuts back to the beginning. To the beginning, thought so. How to? Yeah, just base basic. Chris Bell, finally. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He, the frog, it took it. Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Hi. So many chores. The kids in town get to go out and play. Okay, there's no sprint button. Go on okay, now. I didn't, I didn't mean to press A on here again. I miss your grandma, Chris. And how it used to be around here. Ooh. If I pick every strawberry right now, maybe I won't have to do it ever again. just bloomed yesterday. If I take extra care of them today, they'll be even prettier tomorrow. I got like a frog to find. <clears throat> Day for a walk in the woods. 
Mrs. Bell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate. There's always something going on there. I'll try. Nice. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day! Check out the cool sticker we found! It's a skull! Badass. Is it playing too loud? Oh yeah, that that is way different. Like menu. <sighs> that Marco is never home. He looks like a paper boy. He will boy, inherit so. this one day. He should help me take care of it. He's like he's like just over there. Think about the future. It's not just the farms that'll be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you? Where's your proof? Proof? Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now, see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crispo. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. Nice. I was looking for a yellow frog. With a top hat? <laughs> of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crispo. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. In fully decked out armor. For a fucking mayor. God, look how tall he is. What does be? Oh, chesty poo. Healing juice, nice. Anything else over here? It's like a dude. See, he, he is he's my favorite quotes in the whole game. Not like like the one where he says. And his other really famous quote. Yeah, I like that one. Is it, uh... Why would someone do this? Yeah, yeah. Good morning and all that. Nice. Oh yeah, it was top right that I think they told me to go. I got some beef with this frog. Seen this fucking frog? Hi, Polly. How are things? I don't know, Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather... It never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. 
Sorry, Chris. Nice. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, a top hat. He took my rose. A frog in a top hat? Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral is as good a place as any to try. There is that subtle bitch. I'm gonna I'm gonna check for chest. Oh, yep, chest. Flask of feathers. I mean like isn't like putting fe feathers in a glass jar just like it'd be probably more convenient to put it in a different container. If Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone, shall I kick my ass? Or something. Hmm, that looks an awful lot like me. Opened the crystals of time, Chris Bell. <gasps> what are. I mean, who. How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. The Starker Frog. Me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I can't. I don't want this. Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Nothing to fear. They're actually really cool gameplay mechanics. Powers? This is a curse. Why is this even happening? You are upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only. But sadly, no. Nice. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Looking really tall. Short again. That will not oh, I help. can't see him. Well, like, I wanna. I can't see the past on that side. Past. Present. That will not help. Yeah, so the middle's the present. The left is the past, and the right is the um, future. For anybody that didn't understand that context of literally the um, fucking mural showing it. 
Oh, <laughs> he's not there no more. See, this game's all light, delightful, and then there's shit like that. When you get to the right panel, they're not there. It's like, ooh. Why would someone do this? I'm just looking at the whole town. to say this beginning when we or uh, when, when I finish um, Adventure Time Black Flag uh, for turn base Tuesday this will take its spot but I'm going to play this game like even like frequently um, not on turn base Tuesday just because I played through the demo and I really enjoy it and also it's like new and I've been waiting for it for a long time A well, not a long time, a decent amount of time. Let's just go to a shack. Here we are. No, he lives just lake. over there in that hut. Oh, hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. <laughs> Don't even knock first, just Go yell at him. Away, I'm busy. Open the door, you pompous child. We have important business. <laughs> Matthias? Huh. Idiot frog. You're a child. Manners. You're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell, um, sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why not even I have been able to? Yet it has happened. No. No, no, no. There's something else at work here. Atita says I'm cooler than you. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage, as am I. And apparently you're overpowered. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. Put. The fact that it does that much just in the present is fucking crazy. Tell me, what do you see in the future? A tree. It's growing from the seed I planted. Exactly. A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care. It will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise it will wither and die. So if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see future possibilities. So choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes, go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. Not there. There. B. 
biggin. This is where I planted the seed Wilhelm gave me. Very insightful. See, in the demo, um, like you could normally see him like in the present, but when you go to the past or future, it'd be like a weird distorted figure. It's like really weird looking. Man, of course, <laughs> it's a fucking juice box. Oh. Uh. Um. I shouldn't get too far away from the city. Mother Superior must be worried. Nice. I love the art style of this game. And the music just complements it. Look how dirty the water will be. Or can be. Yeah, basically the demo was just the city and then the hut. And then like after you beat the um the little demo, you could like fight an endless wave of enemies if you wanted to and that's pretty much it. Mother Superior, Mother Superior, I'm a time god now. No, how could this happen? Matthias, what? What, what, what happened? Did you see the future? So like in the future. She she is anorexic. She be a youngin. Your sisters do not exist on this astral plane. See that or they got adopted. Crisbell, you had me worried. Mother Superior, I found the frog. You're okay. The orphanage is still here. <laughs> well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yeah, the frog that told me I'm a time yes, god. he... He was just here. I need to find him. <laughs> At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Y yes, Mother Superior. Now, go find your friend. And don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. Nice. You're gonna be anorexic. Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Yeah, but like you made me look crazy. Oh. Who knows it? Crispell, I am sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future, abandoned, empty. How could that happen? Oh, this pure anorexic. I do not know, but let us look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. Time, time to time god it up. The Miller's house and the apothecary's shop. They've been destroyed. Yeah, but they, they yes, seem happy about quite it. Quite unfortunate. Unfortunate? <laughs> Just like, oh, it sucks to be these fuckers. The Miller's are homeless. Without the apothecary, the town has no medicine. Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But... 
when you think about it, this is actually kind of your fault. No, you're right. A time to time, God. Why would someone do this? Um, excuse me. I think your shop has rot problems. I don't have time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk rot, talk to the carpenter over to the west. I mean, like, you say over the, you just, like, say over the left. Or, like, the half is down. Yeah, yeah, good morning, I guess. Can you help me? There's a problem with the houses. A problem? Great. What did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside. From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Nice. Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Why would... Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town? No, no, I can't. Someone tore the label off of my mushrooms. That sounds... bad. Bad? Nice. It's terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion. Great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. Well, the time, time gods you'd have. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though, I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there are only so many hours in the day. Sorry, I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. Ugh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. How to press X. Here, time hop. Uh, yeah. Yeah, help me time cut it up. Just a little nudge. I wonder which one's which. Ah, there. Well, this one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. Nice. That sticker. I saw it today. Some kids were playing with one. Yeah, it was like really cool. Let's <laughs> so go kick their ass. First combat encounter. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. You took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. This nice. is as much proof as we are likely to get. Still haven't eaten that ice cream. Miss June, we found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. <sighs> What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. 
a spell. Was there something you needed? Yeah. Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareem? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. Hi. Well, you're the apothecary. I would hope that you would know the plants in the area. Especially, like, ba back in, like, this medieval setting. Good morning, Mrs. Magda. Do you know if there's any glow fruit growing nearby? Miss June thought they used to grow by oh, the lake. Nice. But I haven't seen one in ages. The seed you planted for Wilhelm. It was glow fruit. I'm sorry, dear. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful. Glowing purple and orange. And they only bloom every ten years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. Yeah, it's like go kick Wilhelm's ass for it. To the hut. We're back at the hut. There's the tree well, like I out planted, pizza. but the fruit is going to take forever to grow. Then perhaps we should skip ahead, or rather, I will. <laughs> time to time, God. Conkers he is. is. Now to bring it back to Crispin. You did it. It's not much, though. It will have to do. Let us go see the apothecary. Miss June, I time godded it up, and here's like the fruit. your friendly neighborhood time god I have glow fruit will one be enough that will do give me just a minute here you go there's enough only for one dose but it's free of charge thank you nice have the green leaf tonic I thought you would be happier what is it Chris Bell there's only enough to fix one house what can I do ah yes Sacrifice. even with the crystals there's only so much you can do to help it appears you must make a decision how oh, Matthias no matter what I choose one of the houses will be ruined you are a time mage Chris Bell decisions such as this they will not be uncommon so like yeah they're homeless but like look she's still smiling they're happy about it they're okay with being homeless so, so so and plus if we also give it to the apothecary there's a chance that she might be able to make another one so okay I have to talk to them, and then I'm assuming talk Chris to her. Bell, what can I do for you, dear? It's your shop. It has an ash blight infection. Ash blight? Why would you think that? Because I'm a time I god. I overheard the carpenter talking. He thinks a number of buildings could be affected. How awful. I remember my father telling me stories about ash blight. He said it came from a spore that grew near the farms. 
that it spread on the wind after the big fires. Well, no time to waste. We don't have much green leaf tonic, but perhaps I can find another solution. Thank you again, Chris Bell. See? You're welcome, June. I'm glad I was able to help someone. Nice. Chris Bell, look! Do you see how your actions have affected the future? I suppose. Yeah. But what about the Millers? Where will they live? One problem at a time, Outside. little one. Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. And we're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphanage. We have more immediate issues to deal with. Look! Smoke! The farms are on fire! That's what brought Ashblade to Nareem the last time! We've got to go! Crispell, wait! It's like, wait, but he's still hopping along, smiling. Yeah, no, nobody freak out. Don't worry, I'll get it. And time God will time God. It can't be too late! It can't be! Chris Bell, get out of here! It's goblins! They've torched the fields! Run, girl. There's nothing you can do here. I can, I can like help. time god. Just let me. Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work and pray they're up to the task. He is right, Chris Bell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again. <laughs> just like stand there while the goblin just stand there. You should run, they're like catch up to you by standing still. Sure. Nice. So, okay, so there's four slots. Nice. Back again? What is it now, Time Age? Goblins are attacking the farm. A time god. We gotta do something. Matthias said you could help. Did he? He's right, I suppose. With your talent and my training, perhaps in a few years. Years? The goblins are attacking now. Patience. You're a time mage. Try to act like one. We are out of options. There is no other choice. Give her the sword, Wilhelm. Ridiculous. The sword is much too powerful for a novice. Uh, I, I hope like the actual name of the sword is the sword, like like this the the sword just because of how good the sword is. Much. It is the only way. We have no time to spare. I, I mean, like I'm a time god. If the girl is everything you believe, she may well survive. It doesn't matter. I'll do it. Very well. This should be interesting. I think it covers his face like ev after every other word. Hold holding that fucking sword like Ventus. More and more interesting. The sword, so much power. I can feel it moving Her through. Her hairstyle also changed. Well, I, I guess her like bonnet got taken off somehow I'm for some reason. Time. Quickly, Chris Bell, the goblins. But Mother Superior, my friends, I have to protect them. My friends are my go. power. I'll look after them. Meet us at the cathedral. We'll be safe here. Now go. Thank you, Wilhelm. Time God's gonna go. Time God. And now we're back. They're trying to reach the town. Now that you have the sword, your powers have been enhanced. You should now be able to send your enemies to either the future or the past. Give it a try. 
Invoke future crystal. Um, let's let's make them tiny. Oh wait, oh yeah, never mind. I, I forgot it can only be on the right side. Let's make them old. Yeah. Heal me automatically after combat encounters. That level up sounds loud. Who are you supposed to be? Okay, so it doesn't heal me after combat encounters. Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. I know how to time God. I don't. There we go. Nice. Um, I came. I can. Can I invoke a crystal then attack? I don't know what characters are beyond the demo, but I hope like it just gets like really dumb with like the Chris puns. Because what we got we got Chris Bell. That was um Yeah, Christopher. That's two less of them. Get Christian get Christina. <laughs> just it'd be really dumb, I would love it. We've got to stop them before they reach town. I think I'm around to fight exactly them. How do you plan to do that? Hold your ground! They won't get past us! Look, Volcano! Ooh, seven they health. broke up our goblins! How adorable! Can we keep them? Gally, we've talked about them. Till I, I stop, we just want to play! <laughs> and that's... Okay. Um... Yeah, I remember how to do. Forgot to parry. He didn't catch on fire though. How clever! What's this? I feel stronger. Big mistake. Careful! They did something to our shield. Some stupid rust. <laughs> Who cares? What? I thought I parried that.
Can I not parry that attack? Or just block it? Turn up the heat. Okay, yeah, there we go. That time worked. For some reason it didn't let me before. Yeah, wait, what? Hmm. Do I have to hit it like before or after, not right when? There we go. Yeah, so I guess, I guess like with the boss attacks, that has to be like super fucking precise. Um, yeah, there's, I don't think I need one. Um, I guess we can just defend with Christopher. Watch this be a waste. I'll, I'll do it though. I'll, I'll humor them. That's not what I wanted. Damn it! I thought it would, I thought it would pass to Chris Bell. Yeah, you don't have any. Am I supposed to lose? I can't remember to tell you the truth. Like, they look like they're hurt more. They got like an ungodly amount of health. So was I supposed to lose? No? Okay. Yeah, I think I think I won that in the demo. It won't let me select anything. Did, did getting defeated fucking freeze my game? If so, that is annoying. Yeah, I think getting defeated froze my game. Um, I will be right back. I'm gonna have to close the game.